Now, every day we hear about hospitals gearing up for more patients with COVID-19, but what do patients do if they have a non-COVID-19 related emergency? Eyewitness News reporter Ravithi Janaswamy has more. For people like Christina Davison, whose fiance has severe asthma and has a respiratory infection, the hospital has now become a worrisome place. It's scary to think about, considering the fact of how, how low his immune system is. Do we take him to a place that's hot for COVID, or do we just kind of sit and you know wait it out here? But Dr. Ronald Stroney, co-chair of emergency medicine for Geisinger Medicine Institute, says the emergency room is still open and ready for non-COVID related emergencies. So any, any person who believes they have a true emergency should not stop from coming to the emergency department. We're still here to take care of emergencies. Dr. Storney suggests that people call family doctors for minor illnesses or injuries. If it is an urgent situation, they should call their doctor, but also recommends they go to an urgent care facility. A, a great example for an urgent care may be a simple laceration that needs to be fixed, uh, where you can't do that via a telephonic means or by seeing your family doctor in the clinic. But for those who do need to go to the emergency department, he says preventative measures are in place. He says screening sites are set up at all Geisinger facilities. Those who are at higher risk for COVID will be placed in a different kind of room than those who screen negative. He says there are also nurses designated for those who are at higher risk. Do we try to intersperse those nurses amongst other patients in the department? No, absolutely not, unless it's absolutely necessary. Treatment for non-COVID emergency cases, like a heart attack or stroke, will remain normal. But Stroni says staff may wear different apparel and use different personal protection equipment. Rafti Janaswamy, Eyewitness News. Dr. Stroni says for those who are not comfortable going to the hospital, there are care options over the telephone or video chat or even through programs regarding care at home.